obviously. Um, back. <laughs> I just filmed the last video, which you should go check out. It um, I was very frustrated, but it was something that needed to be talked about. Of course, Katie's shit. But this one is is going to be a bit more lighthearted. Hopefully. No, it will be. It's just, um, Katie's been up to a lot of shit, and no surprise there. But uh, I wanted to kind of catch us up a little bit and um, talk about the, the bomb that was dropped yesterday. Like, uh, you know how the day before Katie's whole motion to dismiss came out, she was, like, on Twitter and, and everywhere, just, boom, boom, bombs are gonna drop. And then they didn't. We we got our bomb drop last night. Like, an atomic fucking bomb drop. Sparks were flying. There were fireworks. It was, it was insane. So we're gonna get to that. But first, let's start with what Katie's been up to lately. Which is a whole lot of shit. So, Katie has turned into a political fanatic, um, crazy person, which BTW, someone referred her to Dr. Phil, supposedly, you know, can't believe anything she says, but if they did, that's some funny shit. <laughs> I can't. So, she's been all about the politics, and Katie is like the one person who, I, if, if there's anything positive I can say about her at this point, is that she really does bring the people together. Not in the way she intends it, but in the way that we can all look at her and say, what the fuck is this insane woman doing talking on the internet? So in that regard, yes, she brings people together. Because she was talking about Trump and the, and the shit that happened at the Capitol, and the shit she says is so extreme and and stupid that literally both sides trump supporters and non-trump supporters all of the people were like um katie you're you're fucking stupid you're fucking stupid man the shit you're saying that the the word vomit the the twitter vomit is fucking stupid hang tight my phone's about to come off the damn holder hold oh we're off to a wonderful start all right. It's okay. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm a little scatterbrained. I'm trying to pull it together. I haven't had my medication in a couple of days, so we're working on that. So, in the midst of all the, the politics, which is still fucking going on for some reason, Katie decides it's a good idea since she's done fucked up by trying to go after BX Beast Boy. She realized uh, that backfired. So instead of going after him, she's going to continuously go after other people. Duff Noodles made a video about two other creators. At least I think it was two. Not really sure. Not really sure what they did wrong. But apparently Katie saw that and those two creators being talked about. And she was like, Creep Show Art has something to do with them. Let me attack her. Because, because stupid. That's, that's the only explanation I have from this point on. Because stupid. So, she is all up after Creep Show. Like, Creep Show, don't you know these people did this and you're associated with them? And Creep Show goes on somebody else's shit and is like, you know what? I'm contacting my attorney. <laughs> and I'm like, yes. I think everyone should contact an attorney at this point. Let's just uh, get her done. But that's just basically what she's been up to. So, in the midst of all this, and all the, the other shit in which I talked about in the other video, I'm not going to get into it because it makes me very emotional and pissed off, and I don't want to go there. But if you want to know, check that video out. So, all of this happens. And like I said, if you, if you don't know the case, first of all, Tati Westbrook, like, the Tati, is suing without a crystal ball, KJ, I'm sure we all know this, but there's been the lawsuit, the motion to dismiss, some other don't delete your shit bullshit, and then 
there was the, um, what do you call it? Hold tight. I'm not a lawyer. I know that's not shocking to anyone. Uh, a precipi, precipe, precipi, precipi, who, who cares? One of those. And what one of those means is, hey, um, this person who, well, it doesn't mean this person who, it means there's more shit. But basically, there's more shit because this person who wasn't supposed to be fucking talking kept talking, which led to this shit being brought up. So now we have this shit. Okay? So, something that was brought up in all of this was that, <clears throat> excuse me, one of Katie's ex-moderators brought up Lori Ann, who was a woman who was attacking people on Twitter for Katie for a long time. We all knew who she was. It she's she's attacked a lot of people, so that got brought up. But in this situation, <clears throat> apparently, from what we know now from last night, the woman who was mentioned to be Lorianne wasn't the same Lorianne. So you you got Lorianne, and the whole point of this was Katie has contacts in Washington because Lorianne, her most fierce and loyal fan her bff lives in washington so the point was she has contacts in washington fair enough right <clears throat> so what had happened was last night there was a declaration from Lori Ann, the real one on tati's side on their behalf against katie yeah, I'm going to say, I've seen some people be like, oh, she's, you know, sold, sold out and this and that, you know. Look, I don't care what reason it was that she did it. First of all, she doesn't really have any reason to lie in a declaration because, you know, why? But whatever, let's just say she is a scorned woman, which she was called. Um, and she's just mad because in Katie's declaration, she's like, oh no, me and Lorianne, mm -mm, I don't know her. Like, I know who she is, but we're not close. I didn't mean she was my best friend. I just saved that shit. <laughs> so Lorianne's obviously like, oh yeah, bitch. Oh yeah, we're, we're, we're not good. We're not friends. I did all that shit for you. I attacked all of those people and we're not friends. I got you. And maybe that wasn't the case, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. But anyway, so apparently, according to Lori Ann's declaration, when she saw the filing that had the misinformation about her, that that other person got put into it because she had the same name, lived in the same place, and apparently had a similar job, um, she saw that and she went to Katie and was like, yo, um, there's some shit that I need to talk to you about. And Katie's like, I can't talk about the case, which is fucking hilarious, seeing as how much she talks about the case. Um, anyway, so she says, talk to my attorney. You know, don't, don't go to the Tati side, just talk to my attorney. Which, I mean, you know, fair enough, makes sense. Except for, According to the declaration, this is all according to what was stated in Lorianne's declaration. She goes to that attorney, and that attorney is like, oh yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of this. Um, here, sign this this signature page, and, and I'll, I'll tweak the, the declaration for you. He also tries to convince her to um, report Saltzy to the state bar which is uh a fucked up thing to do to a lawyer like for real he also also tries to convince her to state that saucy was harassing her I, I i can't even it's like katie is bad enough on her own she does not need some fucked up ass lawyer to do some sneaky, snaky bullshit. But that's that's apparently what went down according to the declaration. Allegedly, all of the things. Don't sue me. I don't have shit. Anyway. So, according to, to Lori Ann, this lawyer was trying to get her to say some shit that she won't down for. 
they had already said they were going to subpoena, <clears throat> excuse me, her Twitter. She says, look, I wanted to give Salt Sea my Twitter and all my information. I just wanted fucking out of this. Like, I don't, I don't want to be in this. Which makes sense when uh, it's being brought up that you threaten to have people killed by a motorcycle club. I, I'm pretty sure I'd want out of that, too. <laughs> Sorry. This is like, dude, I wish I could talk to Michael Saltz and just be like, bruh, what are your thoughts? Like, what are your actual thoughts? Oh, man. I bet it's like, because this is the craziest shit. For a defamation suit to have this much drama, tea, bullshit, back and forth, it's insane. And I'm here for it. <laughs> I really am. Oh, where was I? <clears throat> so basically she's saying, like, I wanted to give him my Twitter. I wanted to, the main point she was trying to make was, I wanted to make sure that that mistake of where they mixed up the Lorianne's was corrected. That that wasn't me. I wanted the other side to know that. And KJ's side, her attorney, who didn't tell Michael Saltz, didn't tell the other side, like, hey, this is a mistake. They tried to hide that fact. And they tried to tell her, like, tell Lorianne, oh, I'll represent you, but we're going to, we're going to hold off. On, on giving that information, and we're gonna, like, you know, we're just gonna wait. <laughs> because, of course, that wouldn't be good for his client, KJ, if Lorianne comes out and says, hey, the shit that KJ said isn't true. Like, she knew I lived in Washington. We were closer than what she said. She wanted me to do these things. And in the midst of these things, um, one of the things that Katie had Lorianne do was mass flag and report other YouTube channels. Apparently, um, Little Red and, uh, oh my god, I would forget. Y'all, y'all figured it. Y'all know. I'm sure y'all will figure it out. Somebody will know. Put it in the comments. So that's the thing. And Lori apparently didn't like what this this attorney was trying to do she she wanted to give over her shit she wanted to make sure that the other side knew like hey this chick ain't me and by the way um everything kj said was bullshit <laughs> and so she took it upon herself to be like um fuck you i'm not signing any signature pages to any fucking declaration um i don't see how you can be fair to me and my wishes when you're trying to look out for her and y'all are trying not to let the other side know exactly what I'm trying to tell the other side. So she calls up Saltsy. And that's how this whole thing happened. So her declaration just broken down is KJ's lying piece of shit. Um, she knew I was from Washington. She had me do these things. I was mass flagging people's channels. Yes, I harassed people. I, my bad. But I'm not down for all this bullshit. And by the way, that wasn't me. That's it. Kind of an overall thing. But it it was... It was some shit, y'all. <laughs> it was some shit. If you haven't watched Emily, uh, Emily D. Baker go over it, you've got to watch that shit. The, the energy. I was feeling it. I was like, yes, bitch. I feel you. I wanted to jump up and down. <laughs> it was insane. No one fucking saw this coming. Like, I mean, even seeing where Katie was like, no, I don't know her. You know, yeah, you could suspect, like, Lorianne's not going to be happy about this. But holy fucking shit. And don't for a second think that all... See, okay. Just my uh, opinions, speculation whatever you want to call it, okay? But there is all the, the defamation shit, and, and most of this right now, again, is just about jurisdiction and can KJ be tried in Washington. But all of this that Salt Sea's already getting put out there in front of the judge and, you know, all the declarations, like, best believe every ounce of this is going straight in there when it's time for court, okay? 
And the thing about it is, is the YouTube shit. That, that's not going to do a lot as far as the declaration, uh, declaration, dear God, defamation case. But the fact that this is now out there, hey, is Katie buying subs? Hey, Katie told this woman to go mass flag other channels. All of this shit is coming to light. Don't think for a second that YouTube isn't like, oh yeah, oh really? Okay. And and Michael Saltz is he knows the YouTube shit. So when it comes down to what is what is Katie's punishment gonna be? She she doesn't have a whole lot of money. <laughs> she can she can play it up for the camera all day long. But at the end of the day, what do you think they're gonna take? I've said it before. She's going to be kicked off this platform. And having that shit come to light and be out there and like, oh. All right, hopefully I can edit that one out. Phone totally came off of the, the holdy thingy. And instead of frustratingly trying to put it back on while I'm recording, because I'm, again, I'm on the phone with no pause button because my new phone is uh, not, not doing what it promised. <laughs> anyway, I'll try to edit it out. If not, you got a wonderful shot of my hand catching you. Just know, if any of you guys fall, I will catch you. Where was I? Anyway, all of this shit coming to light. It's going to come to a point where it's like, okay, what, what does Tati want? What does she want to see happen? Maybe, just maybe, it's, um, I don't want this woman to do this to me ever again. I don't want her to do this to anyone again. And by the way, she's already breaking terms of service, so maybe just just a thought, just a theory. Maybe she doesn't need to be on YouTube at all. I want your fucking platform. God, that would be such a badass. Like, can you imagine Tati standing there, like all professional looking? I want your fucking platform. It wouldn't go down that way, but you know what I mean. Like, anyway. I just thought it'd be fun to get on here and go over all the bullshit and go over some of the lawsuit shit. And like I said, Katie said bombs were going to drop a long time ago. We did not get that. But don't worry. Tati and Salty, they've got us. Okay? They, they've they got us. And no matter what Lorianne's true motivation was... Whether she really just felt all bad and shit and whatever. Like, I mean, honestly, it was, it, what she said in her declaration makes complete sense to me. Like, as to why she would do all of this. Is there a bit of spite? I'm sure. I'm sure. She's the one out there risking going to jail for this woman. And this woman's like, oh, fuck, I don't know her. And on the other hand, I will say real quick... I saw where Nate, the lawyer, was like, if you're truly a ride or die, <laughs> and your friend's in a lawsuit, wouldn't you understand that they're going to be like, I don't know her, just for the lawsuit's sake. <laughs> but anyway, it is what it is. It's all very, very entertaining, and I would love, 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 love to hear what you have to say about all of all of it. The lawsuit, the Lorian shit, the Katie's just bullshit let me know what you guys think and i will see you in the next one oh hi bye bye <laughs> don't mind me oh,